for the same issue. Okay, so in the last session we completed HR related configuration, right? As a part of HRMS, primarily we created employee, the same employee we associate with the user. So within the that that's what very basic setup which you have to complete to run the process flow of P2P and additional setups, whatever we require as a part of purchasing configuration at that time will de define as uh, from the HRMS. For now, this definition would be enough. So when you talk about inventory, we have to set up item master inventory. Uh, the item master inventory definition we completed as a part of multi or after that we created a workday calendar and we configured inventory information for our item master and we created actual inventory. We set up inventory as well as receiving options. Now we have to create the sub inventory. Sub inventory is always will create within the inventory organization. The reality, if you don't see any sub inventories for any client, at least you have to create the dummy sub inventory. Say you are doing the implementation for one of the client. The client has say 10, uh, 10 inventory organizations. For the 10 invent out of 10 for one or two inventories, there may not be some sub classification of inventory which you treat as a sub inventory, say some partition. You don't have some partition which you can map into the system as a sub inventory. Still, you have to create sub inventory in the system. If you don't create the sub inventory in the system, you cannot receive the material into inventory. Okay. For receiving process, sub inventory is mandatory in the system. The reality if client is going to have sub inventories, how many sub inventories they have, those mean you can create. If you see the scenario where the client doesn't have any sub inventory as per their business, okay, within this inventory structure, still you have to create the sub inventory in the system. So any question on this point, please? Okay. Even there is no sub inventory as per business, you have to create the sub inventory. Without sub inventory concept, you cannot receive the material into inventory when you purchase from the supplier. Fine. So we'll go and create the sub inventory. Sub inventory will be creating from inventory responsibility. So our username is cloud. Just provide the password. Just click on inventory super user responsibility. Click on any one of the function. So you can close this okay now what we want to do is we want to create the inventory organization sub inventory within the inventory to create the sub inventory within the inventory first you have to select your inventory organization we want to create the sub inventory within which inventory the inventory you have to select first so here we have a direct function called as change organization just click on change organization. Select your inventory organization within which inventory you are going to create the sub inventory. So our inventory organization is we require sub inventories in actual inventories only. We don't require any sub inventories within the master inventory. So just select whatever we created. We created as a cloud, right? So cloud Hyderabad inventory. Within cloud Hyderabad inventory, we'll create the sub inventory. Just say OK. Now, if you take the navigation from this responsibility directly, system will take you into within the inventory, whatever you selected from change organization. That means the selected inventory will be mapped with entire this inventory responsibility based on the task which we just now performed. Now we'll go and create the sub inventory. To create the sub inventory navigation is set up. So navigation is set up organizations and sub inventories. Okay. To create the sub inventory, navigation is set up organizations, sub inventories. Sub inventories always will create within the inventory. So before we take this navigation, already we selected our organization. So directly will be just 
will be able to create the sub inventory in the selected inventory organization just double click now here system will display the actual inventory name you can see here CHO the short name whatever you given inventory code organization code cloud Hyderabad organization this is the name we given within that inventory organization we are going to create the sub inventory it's a very simple definition click on new tab after taking the navigation just click on new okay so here we'll give the sub inventory name as I'll say just phones okay phone sub inventory and you can go to the tab called as accounts here you could see few accounts as mandatory so provide the relevant accounts just click on LOV system will default based on the setup which we did within the chart of accounts select account called as outside processing is all related to inventory related functions which are connected with other applications so search for outside processing account so here is the account called as inventory outside processing value account okay select this account and say okay and say okay and click on LOV material overhead account so search for material overhead account search for material the account name is material overhead so here you could see inventory material overhead value account okay select this account say okay the next account is overhead account click on LOV select overhead account search so the account is 1430 inventory overhead value just say ok then click on ok the next account is resource so here the case is we need sub inventory ok just we need sub inventory to understand the the detailed process of P2P that is the reason we are creating sub inventory otherwise okay we never take the responsibility of implementing all these supply SEM related applications defining inventories and all so the guy who will be working on so SEM implement uh, these SEM applications they'll be creating this sub inventories inventories and everything but just to have a basic understanding we are trying to create all these here account is resource So inventory resource value account select then say ok so that's all this is a basic information we have to provide to create the sub inventory our sub inventory name is phones save it you can close it and close it done we created sub inventory now we'll go and create the item okay we'll go and create the item so when you talk about items so what are the item you you create that you have to specify in the system so the item can be used in which business process so you may have some items which just you will purchase and will be using internally or else there could be some items okay there could be some material or stock which will purchase to sell to the customers or you may purchase a material which is something raw material so that item you will purchase you will store in the inventory that you will be using in the manufacturing process so the, all the items based on the purpose can be classified you can classify the items which just you will purchase and will be using internally the other items can be you, you will purchase and will add some margin and will be selling to your customers or else there could be some items which you will purchase and you will be using for your manufacturing process so that's how they're, they're based on how you are going to use those items in your business process all the specifications you have to give for item so when you create the item 
<clears throat> you have to give all the specification. Those specifications only we call as item attributes. We call as item attributes. So say you are going to create an item called as say iPhone. Okay. So you are purchasing this iPhone for what purpose? Okay. Whether this item iPhone you are going to store in the inventory or just you are purchasing to use internally, you may distribute to your employees the iPhones. So when you are buying any and we are going to create any item, how the item is going to be managed within the organization? After buying that item, you will store in the inventory or just you will buy and you will be distributing or you will buy some item and you will be selling to your customer what is the nature and how that is going to be used in the business process all the specifications you have to give that we call as a attributes we call as item attributes just we'll go and see that how that can be done so <clears throat> so to create the item we have to navigate to inventory yes we have uh, we are in the inventory responsibility only 